Following the ceremony, the funeral procession travel from Ferguson to Bush Stadium. Fox News' Michaela McGee continues our team coverage with details on an emotional wreath-laying ceremony at Lou's statue. McKayla. It's a gloomy day here in St. Louis, and rightfully so, as friends, family, and fans had to say their final goodbyes to Cardinals Hall of Famer Lou Brock this morning. After a private funeral held this morning at Greater Grace Church in Ferguson, the Brock family made two more stops to honor Lou and his contributions to baseball at the, and the St. Louis region. Large wreaths with the number 20 in Cardinals colors in memory of Lou's time with the birds were left at Lindenwood University outside of Lou Brock Sports Complex, and the family made their way downtown where they were met by friends and fans at Bush Stadium. A second large wreath was placed by his statue, and fans left flowers, cards, and posters to show their appreciation. I talked to some Lou Brock fans here at the stadium, one who traveled all the way from Memphis to show his support. We were big fans of Lou Brock, and uh, I'm a, we're, he's a fourth-generation Cardinal fan. I'm a third generation, obviously, and my dad was the biggest fan of Lou Brock when he broke the record, the stealing bases record. It was a, a phenomenal day in his life, and uh, we, we will always remember Lou Brock forever. My grandfather and my father, I'm sure, stings a little bit. You know, they grew up watching him and enjoyed him, so the Cardinals lost a good one, and uh, it's terrible, but I'm sure the boys will play the season for him and dedicate it to him and move on. Our thoughts and prayers go out to the Brock family. For now, let's try to cheer our Cardinals on tonight to a win to honor the late legend. Reporting live at Bush Stadium, Michaela McGee, Fox 2 News.